Danielle with Beauty by Earth. Um, today I want to talk to you about sunscreen and what to look out for when you're buying sunscreen, especially um, when putting sunscreen on your kids. Your skin is the largest organ of your body and it covers everything on your body. Um, how you treat it is incredibly important to your health. Uh, yet a lot of people unknowingly slather toxic chemicals onto the skin through beauty products. Um, one of them being sunscreen. Many sunscreens out there contain chemicals that can contribute to the cause of cancer, which is actually uh, one of the main reasons we use sunscreen, which is to prevent cancer from the harmful UV rays of the sun. So what do you look out for when you are buying sunscreen? Um, there are thousands of products on the market to choose from, so it makes it incredibly difficult and confusing to know what to look for and what to buy. What is the safest brand for you and your family? Um, here's a list of ingredients to watch out for when you are buying sunscreen. So I'm going to touch up on some of these ingredients, um, what it is very important to look for when buying a sunscreen. Um, so what you don't want is oxybenzone. Uh, this is a harmful hormone disrupting chemical which penetrates the skin and enters the bloodstream. Um, it is the most popular ingredient in chemical-based sunscreens and only blocks UVB rays, which are the sun's good rays, and they provide the vitamin D production. Um, not UVA rays, which are the most free radical damaging rays. Um, so avoid any sunscreen that has this chemical at all costs, especially for children. Vitamin A or retinal palmitate. A 2009 study by U.S. government scientists released by the National Toxicology Program found that when this is applied to the skin in the presence of sunlight, it may actually speed the development of skin tumors and lesions. The fragrance, um, sure it may make the pr product smell nice, but this is a petroleum-based product that is linked to organ toxicity and allergies. Um, high SPF, and I'm going to touch upon SPF in another video because a lot of people um, don't actually understand SPF and what it is used for and what to look out for when buying sunscreen in terms of SPF. Um, the FDA actually does not regulate SPF higher than 50 and there's no scientific proof that um, SPF higher than 50 works better than lower SPF. Uh, many of the higher SPFs do not provide any additional protection and studies have suggested that users are exposed to as many or more ultraviolet rays as those who use lower SPF products. Sprays or powders. Generally speaking, uh, sprays and powders have additional chemicals added to them for performance purposes. Uh, these additional chemicals are usually not something you want to be spraying on your body and can be toxic to the lungs. Uh, besides, remember sunscreen is formulated for your skin, not your lungs. Many of the side effects of sprays and powders on the lungs are not tested before being approved. Look out for popular conventional brands. Um, this includes Aveeno, Banana Boat, Copper Tone Sport, Copper Tone Water Babies, Bullfrog, Neutrogena, store brands such as CVS, Rite Aid, or Walgreens. Um, Hawaiian Tropic and many other brands are rated the worst in terms of safety in the Environmental Working Group Sunscreen Guide. So, what to look for in terms of safe uh, ingredients in sunscreen. Um, look for titanium dioxide and zinc oxide based mineral sunscreens. Um, these do not penetrate the skin and provide UVA protection against the sun's most damaging rays. Brands that have no parabens. Uh, choose non-nano products that do not have small particles that can absorb into the skin. Choose sunscreens that are unscented or use essential oils or plant-based products as fragrance. Pick lotion-based sunscreens with water resistance, preferably biodegradable and reef safe as well. Pick sunscreens that protect against UVA and UVB rays. And lastly, have a range of SPF 15 to 50. If you are looking for a good all natural safe sunscreen, I highly recommend Beauty by Earths. Um, it contains none of the toxic ingredients or chemicals listed um, as covered earlier and no toxic chemicals um, at all. This is an SPF 25 sunscreen. It's uh, all natural, water resistant, and biodegradable. 
And if you want to find out where you can get this, you can visit our website, beautybyearth.com, or you can click on the link provided in the description below, and that will bring you to the product page of the sunscreen. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, please like and comment below. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel for other demonstrations on natural beauty products by Beauty by Earth. Thanks for watching.